Hello, Hoopaholics. It's Coach Spins here in the film room, brought to you by NBA Math. As this week, we take a look at the Brad Stevens 1-3-1 matchup zone defense. It's a unique change of pace, a defense most teams aren't prepared for, and proof that yes, zone defense does have a place in the NBA. Now the Celtics aren't the only team to utilize a zone. As we look at the synergy statistics from last season, they were actually 8th in the league in zone frequency. However, no team gave up fewer points per possession than the Celtics did while playing a zone. And a lot of that is due to the type of zone and the timing that Brad Stevens utilizes it. The Celtics love to twist into a zone defense on inbound plays late in the game, which tend to throw off what opposing coaches draw up and leave offensive groups scrambling on the floor. The way the Celtics initially align make it look like a man-to-man -man defense, but we can tell by the way they switch off-ball screens, as Marcus Smart points for one coming here for Jalen Brown to stay in the wing, that what they're really trying to do is funnel the ball away from the strong side of the floor and force a skip pass. The Suns are unprepared for this and get off a bad shot. Again, notice time and score, which are dictating the switch to zone defense here for Boston. Here it's not disguised as man-to-man -man from the start, as the Celtics are off-ball in position that they need for their 1-3-1 zone. The key for their rotations is Marcus Smart, the point guard at the top of the key, who has his chest squared to the opponent's basket and is pointing through all of the switches and screens so Boston can rotate properly. The Celts accomplish their goal here, forcing a skip pass and taking the Pistons out of what they've drawn up out of the timeout. While the goal is to try and force a difficult pass from the outset, if the ball ever goes to the strong side corner, the Celtics dummy trap immediately, trying to get the ball out of their hands and force another skip. With a four-point lead over the Bucks, Boston here just wants to make Milwaukee utilize some of the clock. By forcing the skip, they succeed and effectively end the game. Similar alignment here against Atlanta, while they need to make sure they defend any shot that gets off in a one-possession game. They force it to the corner, and Olenek goes to double immediately. While Smart, or whoever the defender at the top of the key is, is essentially the quarterback calling out the action, the added effect of playing this 1-3-1 matchup zone is that it keeps Al Horford, or their best rim protector, in the middle of the floor. If the ball were to ever get entered towards the middle and create a rim attack for the offense, that man is ready to step up and challenge any shots that occur near the rim. But of course, most teams run a ton of screening action out of out-of-bounds plays, especially late in the clock, and this type of defense really throws them out of their groove. Stevens also twists into their 1-3-1 matchup zone on baseline inbound plays. In these scenarios, the Celtics will put more size on the ball. Three wings ready to switch through everything that happens screening-wise near the rim, and a point guard back at the top of the key, ready to call out all actions and clean up the mess. But the objective is the same. Force a difficult skip pass that the Celtics can read and intercept and perhaps get two points going the other way. Here a deflection does just enough to take Indiana out of their designed play and force a long two late in the shot clock. Again, this takes Indiana out of their screening actions as the Celtics flat three men near the baseline leave the Pacers befuddled as to who exactly to screen. One of the dangers of a zone alignment are the initial matchups that occur. Here Isaiah Thomas is marking Carl Anthony Towns, but as the ball moves around the perimeter to the open zone, Thomas switches out, and then the ball gets driven right towards the rim protector in the middle of the zone. Well that's it for episode two folks. Hope you enjoyed and learned something about just how Brad Stevens and the Boston Celtics deploy a useful 1-3-1 matchup zone defense. Thanks for watching.